Hey, what's up? Uh, let's create now a basic CRUD operations over the user's entity, uh, just as in as an example uh, to understand things. So first thing, um, after we injected our user's service, let me delete this the console log, and now we can basically just return this dot user service dot um, get data, and that's it. At the future, we will pass the query params here, so we can uh, search or filter this data. And this returns a promise, but uh, Kua behind the scenes, or at least this routing controllers will, uh, one of them, I'm pretty sure, will resolve this and return the resolved value, so you don't need to await it, but you can. And for this one, I will just return this dot user service dot get by ID, and just pass it the ID. And if we go to this one in the base service, I will change this from find one to find one and or fail. Uh, they will both fail when uh, you pass an ID that does not exist in the database, but this one will return uh, an, uh, an error that says that I can't find that ID. And uh, but for now, this this error won't return as JSON, so we will fix this eventually. We will uh, throw errors that returns JSON to the client, so the front-end developer will know what to do. Uh, but for now, this is just the basics, and now we can get by ID this one and for the create I actually forgot to create the create function in the base controller so to do this it's really simple and I will show you something really cool in uh, type RM I didn't know that this thing exists when I did my type RM videos I didn't do that did I did not know that or uh, knew that yeah <laughs> So this is a deep partial of the type you are creating, the entity, because if you think about it, you won't be, when you submit a data for, for example, a user or a post, you won't submit the ID with it, right? Or create that, update that, you won't submit these. So a lot of the properties will be partial, uh, which means they, sh may they don't exist when you create the post. But when you create the user, for example, and this will return a promise of the same type. So first thing, to create the entity, this is something cool in type RM. Um, you can actually create the constructor. Well, let me go to the user's entity. You can create a constructor here and accept these properties. You can do this. But another way is to use uh, this, the repo to create. This creates an entity. And since this repo will be a user repo, if you use this from the user services surface, or will be a post repo if you use this from the post service like if you remember this we are passing the type of the repository here or the, repo the repository itself and this is a user's repository so when you call the create function on the user repository this will create an entity from the data you pass uh, which is very nice and this actually if you hover over it or hover over this this will retain uh, or sorry this will accept a deep partial from the entity and returns the entity but I'm pretty sure um, maybe this I'm not sure if this is correct because uh, creates a new entity instance and copies all entity properties from the object into new entity um, note this note that it copies only properties that it presents in the entity schema I'm pretty sure but this is from type deep partial because uh, this won't have an ID Maybe we can't check this when we this this just console log this. It's not from type entity. It's from type deep partial. It won't have ID or created that on stuff like this. And at the end return this dot uh, repo dot save and pass the entity. And let's await that. Okay. Now in our users controller we will just return this dot user service dot create and pass it the user. And that's it. For the patch, this should be called patch by the way, I named it bot, anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure you saw that, but uh, the type here for now will be user's entity, and this will be deep partial, user entity, because you won't submit the ID for the user when you create it, and actually we need to validate that, uh, I will show you, we can use something called the class transformer, or a class validation I think. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, this also will be the partial. 
just return this to user service to uh, update and pass the ID then the user and for the delete return this to user service to del then the ID and that should be it so npm run dev uh, source app to ts not sure if you can hear that voice around me but there is some guy that's selling stuff so, uh, if I wait them to disappear I will wait like maybe 10 hours so I'll just do the video I'm sorry about the voice um, let's go to postman for example if we go now to localhost 3004 slash users hit send uh, we won't see anything it's an empty array so let's create a user if you go to the same route and choose the post request and the body of the data let me just create one from scratch if you don't know postman so i just created a new request just click on the plus choose the type of the request there are so many as you can see go to let me just copy this to localhost for, sla, for localhost 3000 for slash users choose body you want to send body with this uh it choose raw and for after this choose json if you are having forms and submitting uh, forms this means they are form data uh, type and but I'm, I will use json actually I maybe we will use this when we upload files because I like to upload files in the form data format not json in json it's really slow and uh, you need to encode them in base64 as a strings and it's really not I mean it's not good in my opinion and for the in for the things we should submit it's these columns so you should submit the first name last name birth of date email and the type is all by default is user and we should submit the password the salt should be generated in the backend so let me just grab these i already typed everything so i don't want to waste time so as you can see this is the data now send uh the users dot salt as you can see uh, not null constraint use failed uh, users to start uh, just like I said the salt should be generated in the backend for each user and I mean this is one of the ways to store the salt just to store it next to the user uh, row so what I can do for now user to salt would be equal to empty string but to do generate salt like this now if we submit you the, the user we should see uh, the user object returns for us which is nice and the id is one so let, let's try get all the users so now it's an array of users get one user so for the slash one the id we have so we will see this user and if we type an id that we don't have you will get this error could not find an entity of type users entity matching 13 not sure what, yeah 13 this is id and now let's patch that user so if you go to localhost then forward slash users forward slash the id for that user and just to choose the patch request the body then raw json just like we did in the post and send the new data so let's just send so the first name is polo last name is reward so as you can see it's got updated and this is the new email but for now we are retaining the password which is not good but we will fix all of this but these are just the basics to get started and now to delete a user it choose a delete request and go to forward slash users then the id for that user delete it and the api will retain the user for you that got deleted and if we try to get it now or at least get all the users we will get an empty address because it not longer uh, it does not longer exist in our database so these are the basics for the CRUD operations but of course there are so many things we can improve so many things um, thank you